Hi and welcome to the session. I am Neha and I am going to help you with the following question. The question says, the graphs of y equal to p of x are given for some polynomials p of x. Find the number of zeros of p of x in each case. Here are the six graphs given to us. Before proceeding for the solution, recall that zeros of the polynomial p of x are the x coordinates of the points where the graph y equal to p of x intersects x axis. This is the key idea for this question. Now let's see its solution. Let's proceed with the graph given in the first part. Here is the graph of a line which intersects y-axis but it does not intersect the x-axis. And according to the key idea, zeros of the polynomial are the x-coordinates of the points where the graph intersects x-axis. But in the first part, the graph does not intersect x-axis. So, we will write graph does not intersect x axis therefore there will not be any zero for this graph so this implies there are no zeros now let's proceed with the second part Let's see its graph. Alright. Here the graph intersects the x-axis at one point. That is this one. So here we will write. Graph intersects x-axis at one point. So according to the key idea, this implies the number of zeros is 1. Let's move on to third part. Here is its graph. In this, the graph passes or it intersects the x axis at this point. Then this point and at last at this point. So there are three points where the graph intersects the x-axis. So that means graph intersects x-axis at three points. This implies the number of zeros is 3. Let's see the graph in the fourth part. In this, the graph intersects the x-axis at these two points. So, graph intersects x-axis at two points. This implies the number of zeros
is do. Now let's move on to fifth part. Here the graph intersects the x-axis at one point, second point, third point and fourth point. So it intersects the x-axis at four points. So we'll write graph intersects x-axis at four points. This implies the number of zeros is 4. Now let's do the last part. That is the sixth part. In this, the graph intersects the x-axis at first point, second point and third point. So that means graph intersects x-axis at three points. This implies the number of zeros is 3. So our final answer to this question is first no zeros, second one zeros, third three zeros, fourth two zeros, fifth four zeros and sixth three zeros. With this we finish this session. Hope you must have understood the question. Goodbye and have a nice day.